Let's start using ChatGPT to start analyzing any video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach video files, start analyzing video files for anything, anything, Corbin, anything. I'm talking about tables, summaries, bullet points, quotes, everything. Sound good? Let's jump in. Welcome back, y'all. In this video, we're going to learn how we can start analyzing any video up to three hours and 30 minutes long. We're talking about podcasts, streams, quantum physics, rocket science, culinary, travel, whatever it may be, any video. To do so, let's go and attach a long video here. Hit attach file. Upload from computer. And oh, wait. They can only accept half a gigabyte on ChatGPT. How do we fix this, Corbin? Welcome to the solution. With bump ups here, we can do everything we would ever wanna do when it comes to a video by simply providing the link and we can do anything, y'all. For example, from this two hour and 30 minute video, all two hours and 30 minutes, I asked, what are some quotes and main ideas from this podcast? We got all the main ideas. And then what's even crazier is we got exact quotes from that video on different topics. Therefore, let me show you how to do this step-by-step step and how you can start doing it for free. Let's get started. I'm gonna make sure I leave a link in the description down below, free sign up, and we can jump right in. We come up here to start chatting. Now, this is extremely powerful, y'all. This can do any video up to three hours and 30 minutes long. Just as a quick example here, let's say I'm watching a real estate video. I put in the link. I asked the prompt, based on this video, give me a table of relevant to the real estate data discussed in that video. And holy smokes, y'all, we are getting tables <laughs> based off that video about the real estate data discussed. Let's get going here. We're gonna create a new workspace. Let's call it podcast work. So this will work on any topic, y'all. We're gonna save a workspace here and we got two major things right off the bat here. So we have bump shortcuts and then we have our nice little prompt workspace. What bump shortcuts allow us to do is like, once we put a video in there, let's just say we want the timestamps, takeaways, tags, descriptions, titles, we'll be able to generate that all out in one output. And then we can really play around with this little workspace here. So we're gonna make some prompts together Let's first off load in a video to show you really the capabilities of this AI. We're going to load in a three hour and 28 minute video here, upload video, and this can upload that long of a video within 30 seconds. Here we go. Our workspace is currently active and just right off the bat, before we even jump into the prompts, let's just say, you know what? Just give me the timestamps, give me some takeaways, and let's just enable all of these. This is no extra cost here, y'all. Just hit generate shortcuts and that's running. So now we can play around with the prompts. While the shortcuts are still generating here, check out this prompt, y'all. Based on this podcast, give me the following. 10 most important quotes, a summary, a table of how many times a word is said, 10 possible tweets, five possible articles, footnotes of resources mentioned, and whatever else you want. Here is the name of the game when it comes to bump ups and analyzing videos and chatting with it. Just ask it to do anything you want and chances are it will probably do it. This is extremely powerful, y'all. Let's hit submit and see our results. Submit. Our shortcuts came in. With shortcuts here, I don't have to include in the prompt like give me the timestamps because we already have them structured and formatted here. Like, look at that, y'all. In addition, if I chose to do so, I can copy them. I got a description of the podcast. I have takeaways from the podcast, three major takeaways. I have possible titles for the podcast. I even have hashtags that could be associated with the podcast. And this works on any topic, any industry, any type of video. We are analyzing. And with a three hour and 30 minute video, we're able to get an output for all that requested in under 30 seconds. We got a nice summary right here, identifying the speaker, Ed. Then we got a part right here that is super cool. We get the 10 most important quotes. Let's read one. Let's read number one. Once humans figured out how to stay in a place, that's the initial trigger to what could be become a civilization. This is, this is just cool, y'all. Then check out this next part for word frequency. This thing looked at three hours and 30 minutes of content and it is able to tell us how many times the word Maya is said or religion or people or ancient. That's super cool. That's kind of like a niche use case as well. If you're a podcaster yourself, you could upload a video, ask if your conversational style is good, ask how many times you say the word uh or um like in your entire video. That's cool. Oh, you thought it was done? 10 possible tweets. Let's read one. Could lost civilizations be hidden beneath the Amazon's dense jungles? New archaeological findings suggest it's possible. Hashtag lost civilizations. And that's what makes it so powerful and so fluid. Instagram posts, possible YouTube videos, possible article titles, anything you can think of, we can get now such as possible article ideas. And let's take this one step further. Footnotes of resources mentioned. Like what? So check it out. It's in the description down below. It's free to start. This is super cool. This actually has never been done possible in the space. This is brand new tech right here. And we can do anything else. So we can put in football content here and like based off the conversation I had here, who would be the best player to put in my fantasy league? Based off this college lecture, what are the most important parts of the lesson? What are study guides I can make? But the shoe on the other foot, if you're the teacher, what are possible quizzes I can make? What are possible lessons I could do? What are possible tests I could do? In addition, tutorials on anything. How to cook this, how to fix my car, how to code out a backend. As for all the code, terminal commands, directions found in that video. Oh, who is that? Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> 
Therefore, the best solution to not using ChatGPT for this, because it can't do it, is going to be new tech found at bumpups.com. If you feel like you learned something in today's video, make sure you leave a like. It's completely free. I'm going to be doing other videos on this topic later on in this channel, just because of the fact that this is super cool. I haven't seen any other software that has the ability to analyze videos on the market, first of its kind. So I'll see you in the next video. Bump ups. Bump ups. Those are two random videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.